Nick, first of all, I mean, you had that good stop. I think on the first possession, you guys were juiced up. And I mean, how good was it to get back, get out there and hit somebody else? And then how deflating was it to have to go in the locker room for over two hours? Uh, yeah, it definitely. It, it tries to mess with you mentally, but you just got to, you know, stay calm, stay relaxed, make sure you're not getting too relaxed at the same time, knowing that uh, in any second, you got to flip that uh, switch and get back on the field. So, But, yeah, it was kind of getting, you know, aggravated going up and down. But uh, I feel like we handled it well, and we got back out there and did what we needed to do. How comfortable have you felt moving outside a little bit with the injury to Jaden and you and you and Randy have I guess have been working out there as well. I and mean, how comfortable do you feel like you are at that position now? Uh I feel like I've probably dropped a couple pounds. Well I have dropped a couple pounds so I feel like that's uh gave me more confidence to know that um I can get out there and rush the edge and do damage outside. Will had high praise for the offensive line today. I guess, you know, you're going against them all at camp. What are you seeing from that unit to have that type of performance today? Uh, I feel like since spring, they've definitely uh, came together as a unit. Uh, of course, they got great guys individually, but I feel like since uh, leading up to spring and this summer, I feel like those guys collectively has gotten a lot better. How valuable is the preparation time when you know they're a team that wants to get it out quick? So it's not like a traditional drop back. So chances of you getting a lot of sacks are pretty slim. So, kind of preparing for that in mind, you know, does it keep you from getting a little frustrated in the ball game when you kind of know what they're going to do? Uh, yeah, sometimes it can be, but uh, like you said, we knew that that was going to happen. We prepared for it. We knew that they were going to um, make us go side to side, uh, get us tired real quick, and start hitting us with tempo. But we prepare for that every week. But um, I just felt like we, we just had to do it. I mean, they, they were doing the uh, full slides and all that type of stuff, so I feel like we handled it well then. I guess you just heard Jeff talking about it and, and how big Dylan is, how hard he is to bring down, you know, and all those practices between him and Woody and Simeon. Just, just how talented, how big is that running back room? How hard are they for a defense to, to game plan for? Uh, I mean, yeah, they are, they are definitely some hard burners. Uh, they stay on their feet, they stay, they stay on their feet pretty well, so um, they know how to hit gaps and all that stuff, and they have some speed behind them, so uh, definitely going up against them in practice, it helps us, uh, gets us better. You guys start out really hot, like I don't think they eclipsed 50 yards until midway through the third quarter, but then wheels started coming off a little bit. What do you guys have to work on as a unit to, you know, play those four full quarters that Coach Lee uh, talks about? I just feel like we can't get too uh, content. Um, I feel like that's what we did. We got a big lead, and Maybe some guys started getting a little tired, banged up, ready to go because it was so late. But um, we just got to mentally push through those things. We got to know that it's four quarters and we have to play up those whole four quarters.